welcome back everyone uh, today we're going to be looking at the pathfinder class which is my personal favorite class let's start with the details uh, class technique is the armorous drone which is uh, you take control of an enemy drone basically and you can use it then to scan an area create a lure to attract people you can use the ability to flashbang them basically and also you can fire an explosive round as well to take them out so it has a few different uses I have used it as an offensive weapon to take out enemies with before but I mainly use it on a big base where I can use um, the scan ability and just uncover where all the enemy are before I go in there uh, class item is the uplink protocol which is the only way that you can upgrade your or refill your bar for your drone interface is by using these uplink protocols uh, proficiencies ration effects and durations are increased by 100% I don't use rations so I don't really get the use of that Better supplies, tactical caches contain better u items in them. Tactical caches are normally where you get your uplink protocols from as well. So they're always handy to find. Scout vision, which is the most important thing of the Pathfinder, which is the white hot thermal vision. Which is a hell of a lot better than the basic thermal vision of the other classes. It's a great thingy to use when you fight an enemy enemies at range using things like sniper rifle you can see miles with that sort of vision that's a hell of a lot better which is the main reason I always use this class whenever I'm just playing normally uh, we've got the ACR assault rifle short barrel extended mag suppressor ATPL3 rail uh, folded iron sight because I usually using this up close. I ain't bothered about aiming down the sight at anything. Uh, SDK enhanced stock, uh, auto single trigger, and the underbarrel grenade launcher for taking out enemy cars. Uh, because this class excels at using long range weapons, we have the Attack 50, which I have on most of my classes just because I like sniper rifles. Um, I've got the extended mag, suppressor, T5 XI sight, and the bipod. And because of that white hot vision, you can get you uh, make shooting with sniper rifles so much easier, I find. Perk wise, we've got Gunslinger. Increases accuracy and handling every time you hit an enemy. Which obviously affects the ACR when you're up close trying to take enemies out. But also works well for the TAC 50. Every time you kill an enemy, your accuracy, your recoil, your time to aim, your sway, and all that is all increasing every time. Next we have Rolling Thunder, which is mainly from a snipe rifle. When using a snipe rifle you get 20% increased weapon damage and a 20% increased damage to drones. Which, uh, considering I use my snipe rifle for killing drones the most, so that comes in handy for that. Obviously if you take suppressor off your rifle before you start shooting at drones and all that will obviously increase the weapon back up to 20%. By default and then you'll also get another 20% on top of that uh, lastly we have ballistic advantage which is always handy for snipe rifle increases the range and the handling makes time to aim the recoil management a bit better but that's mainly the range you want that means you haven't got to take bullet drop into account a lot longer ranges than you would normally Uh, then we have the item wheel, we have 
the uplink protocol which you need to refill your technique bar so you can call in the armorous drone uh, we've got C4 chargers mainly for doing missions where we need to blow something up like parked cars, trucks, crates of things or computers or something uh, sync shot drones mainly for when we're in a base and start getting detected we can call one in to take out a radio man if we need to before we call for backup uh, we've got the breach torch just so we can cut through fences if we need to if we're trying to sneak around uh, bandage in the bullet thrower locked in uh, we've got the mark 2 frag grenades just in case we get into a firefight and we need to blow a few up uh, we've got the mark 1 syringe just in case I need to heal quickly in the middle of a firefight I can use one of them instead of trying to let the health regen do its work or mess around wrapping myself in bandages uh, and then also I take the rocket launcher for taking out enemy trucks like trucks and convoys and also hitting enemy behemoths before I start attacking them just to shake their armor off of them make them a bit easier to take out because you can expose their weak points with a rocket blast to start off with I said this is my favourite class, mainly because the thermal vision is just so nice to use. It makes shooting at long range so much easier. Uh, you also got the technique, the drone, which you can use the scan ability on. So you've basically got a bigger version of the sharpshooter's sensor launcher. So you've got two abilities there, which will really help you out. Um, I think it was the Pathfinder class as well on my other account. I've got a kill that's about 980 meters, I think. That was using the Pathfinder class and it's red ice, white hot vision. So you can get some insane shots with using attack 50 with ballistic advantage. Attack 50 and that's like that white hot vision you can use. You can hit some insane long range hits with that. Uh, thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you all on the next one.